Hello everyone, this is Arrow, and welcome back to Sundown Luna Potfix. Today we'll be reading a one-shot called Skirts, Rainbow Sprinkles, and Doorstep Kisses by Shadow Traveling Titans. Here's the summary. Eri decides not to wear skirts after someone makes fun of her at the park. Kyu Midoriya wearing a skirt and Shinso experiencing a gay crisis while babysitting Eri. Eri is absolutely a girl's girl. She loves pink and tulu skirts and her teddy bears. Of course, that doesn't stop her from walking around the house with her huge purple sword because she has to protect the family. And though she finds it adorable, growing up in an all-boys care facility then with two dads, it's nice to see the sparks of pink and cuddly objects everywhere. He won't admit it, but he loves watching the Disney movies and sitting at the kitchen table doing everyone's nails because she wants to match. He loves it. Then comes the skirt fiasco. Some kid at some park made fun of Ari wearing a little frilly skirt, and since then she refuses to wear them. She'll wear her dresses, her neko neko sweater, and her rainbow leggings. She'll even wear her floral rainbow boots. But she draws the line at the skirt. She hides them in her closet, behind her box of summer clothes, and Hitoshi's heart breaks a little. He thinks that it, that that's the end of it, his parents having tried their best to convince her that it was okay until he walks into his apartment and spots Aerie happily giggling, her hair twin pigtails bobbing up and down as she jumps in excitement. Hitoshi is about to ask her what had made her so smiley today when she turns when she turns along with her. Her pinkish tulu skirt she's wearing swirls with her. Toshi, Toshi, guess who came to the visit? Aerie makes her way towards him just as he puts down his bag, and Hitoshi reaches his hand out to hold her smaller ones. She bounces, her smile large and wide. Who? he asks, laughing along with her. Deku! As if summoned, the hero in training pops into view and Hitoshi has to stifle a laugh. Midoriya's face is covered in makeup, no doubt an attempt made by Eri. He has butterfly clips and colorful hair ties randomly positioned in his hair. It's kind of cute. Midoriya blushes. Hi there, Shinso. You're home early. The other shrugs. Training let up early, since Dad wanted to s to surprise Dad with a date. So technically, he looks at Eri. I am taking care of you tonight. The little girl giggles, clapping her hands together. Does that mean we get ice cream for dinner? Shinso grins. Absolutely. He holds out his fist so Eri can bump her against it. Bump hers against it. Shinso turns to Midoriya. You wouldn't tell on this, would you? The other grins. I wouldn't dream of it. Midoriya comes further into the room and Shinso finally has a full view of his body. He's wearing one of his signature plain t-shirts, this one with the word dress shirt on, on it, and, a signature, and his signature red sneakers. What's new and currently causing Shinso's brain to do backflips is the soft minty green tulu skirt he's wearing. He must have spaced out because suddenly Eri was tugging on his hand rather violently for a six-year-old. Toshi! Earth the Toshi! Let's go get some ice cream, she says. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going. Um, he trails off before looking at Aerie's bare feet. You need shoes. You can't have, we can't have you walking around in Neko Neko socks, now can we? Aerie smiles and runs along to find her pair of purple high tops that she suspiciously wanted after seeing Shinso wear them before going out. Out of the corner of his eye, Shinso watches her put them on, her tongue sticking out in concentration. So, Midoriya starts next to him. I take it you were surprised by the skirt? Shinso continues to look at his sister, but his hands end up rubbing the back of his neck and he laughs softly. Shinso clears his throat. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. Midoriya laughs, the sound causing his stomach to flutter. Mr. Aizawa actually asked me to come over today. He shares, told me about Eri and her sudden dislike of skirts, so I decided maybe if she saw someone like she liked wearing one, she wouldn't feel so bad. Midoriya shrugged, suddenly rubbing his arms, shoulders hunching slightly. I guess I do look kind of silly. He trails off. Shinso immediately turns towards him. No, no, you look different, yeah, but... He swallows, suddenly avoiding Midoriya's eyes. It's nice. You look nice in a skirt. Midoriya smiles and he can't help but smile in return. Suddenly, he's jolted by a small hand grabbing onto his. 
Stop flirting. I want to go get ice cream, she says, a slight whine in her voice, and Shinzo feels his face burn. We, I, no, just, Eri, who taught you that? His sister just rolls her eyes, and Midoriya looks like he's about to burst out laughing, despite the redness in his cheeks re reaching worrisome levels. I have eyes, Toshi, she says, like it's the most natural thing in the world. Besides, Daddy and Dad do it all the time. This time, Midoriya does laugh, whether it's from embarrassment or the small show of a attempted has yet to be determined. Shinso can only hide his hand face in his hands. You're the worst, he murmurs. Eri, however, either doesn't listen or pays, pays it no mind, because she marches forward to the door and both boys follow her dutifully, occasionally sneaking glances at each other and giggling. The ice cream shop is cute and close to their apartment that Shinzo feels safe enough to avoid his dad's. Eri bounces all the way there, swinging both Midoriya in his arms as she drags them inside the fairy-lit establishment. All right, Eri, as the youngest, you go first. She looked at him and beams. Rocky Road, please, with rainbow sprinkles. Shinzo laughs, telling the counter attendant her order. He turns to Midoriya, who looks uncomfortable, but still holds Eri's hand and smiles at her softly. All right, you're up, Midoriya. The other boy blinks, pointing a finger at himself. Me? No other Midoriya, he deadpans. Yes, you. What would you like? He asks again, and Midoriya opens his mouth a few times before shaking his head. You really don't have... Shinso and Eri look at him, and Midoriya sighs. Cookie and cream, please. Shinso nods, repeats the order while adding sprinkles, and gives his own. He sends Midoriya and his sister away to find a table while he waits and pays for the order. When he gets back to the table, three ice creams in hand, the other two are having a fun little thumb war with Midoriya dramatically losing, causing Eri to giggle uncontrollably. Well, I see you started the fun without me. Eri turns and makes grabby hands. Rocky Road, she says, practically vibrating in her seat. Shinso laughs as he hands her her ice cream watching as Midoriya hands her a napkin. After all the ice cream are delivered, they all dive into their treats, laughing and talking about random things they did that day. Enraptured in their little world, they fail to notice a couple come in until they are interrupted by them. Well, this is a surprise, a stern voice says. Shinso and Midoriya immediately freeze like deer in headlights, while Eri beams and shouts, Daddy! Both his dad smiled at her th enthusiasm. Hello, sweet pea. Are you having fun? His Hizashi his asks, and Eri nods, talking a mile a minute about how Midoriya let her do his makeup and they have matching skirts. That's great, sweetie. Say, what did you have for dinner tonight? Rocky Road! Shinso groans, feeling both his parents stare at him. Interesting. That, that doesn't sound like carrots and peas, does it, Hizashi? His other dad smiles, running a hand through his blonde hair. No, it doesn't, Hitoshi. Shinso senses dad's the biggest smile he can manage. Oops. Aizawa gives him a stern look, and Shinso knows he's going to spend the rest of the semester sore and bruised from training. In my defense, she's very hard to say no to. That gets him an amused snort from his dad. You're still running laps tomorrow. Shinzo sighs, accepting defeat, and moves over to let his other dad sit next to him. Midoriya looks petrified to be, to be sitting next to his homeroom teacher, but his dad seems oblivious. Oh, Hitoshi, can, we walk Midoriya, can you walk Midoriya to the dorms? Both boys look at the blonde man in confusion. What? It's dark out, and I don't want him walking around alone. Shinzo raised an eyebrow. But I'm allowed to. You won't attract trouble. His other dad deadpans and Midoriya squawks, causing Eri to laugh. Eventually, they all join in and Shinso looks at Midoriya and tries to ignore how the brightness in his eyes blinds him. The walk back to the dorms is relatively quiet. Neither boy is sure how to start the conversation. Shinso can't help but steal glances, watching the way the moonlight shines on, up on the other's head. The skirt swaying with every step he takes. It's mesmerizing in a way that only Midoriya can pull off. He's not doing anything out of the ordinary or amazing, but it still takes Shinso's breath away. They stop at the 1A door, dorm door and silently stare at everything but each other until they both start to try, try to start a conversation. After a blunder, 
Both boys blush and laugh. Thank you for walking me back to the dorms. Midoriya breaks the silence and Shinso shrugs. I mean, it was mostly my dad's. He starts, but I didn't mind it. It's nice walking with you. Midoriya snorts. Even with my purple and glittery gold eyelids? Shinso smirks. It's part of the charm, I think. Both boys fall apart laughing, wheezing slightly by the end, and Shinso has to cough to remind his lungs that, yes, he does need oxygen to live. Once he has managed to calm down enough to talk, he bids Midoriya good night, the other returning the greeting with a tiny wave of his hand. Shinso turns his back and walks close to five steps before feels a hand wrap around his arm. He looks... He goes to look, but is stopped when a pair of lips find his cheek, pressing the softest kiss anyone's ever shared to, shared with him to it. Midoriya leans back and smiles at him, small and shy. Thank you for the ice cream, and the compliments, he says. Good night, Shinso. He walks away, skirt flowing in the light breeze, and Shinso can only watch, one hand covering his cheek as is to keep it from fluttering away with the wind. Once Midoriya reaches the door, he waves, then enters, effectively leaving Shinso alone to stare dumbly at the closed door late at night. Then he smiles, just, a love, just as lovesick as he feels. Good night, Midoriya. All right, everyone, that is the end for skirts, rainbow sprinkles, and doorstep kisses. I really love the ship um, Shindeku, if you can tell, so you're gonna see a lot of that. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!